Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I just got home from doing a huge Costco haul. If you're thinking, oh, I haven't seen a Costco haul from Julie for a while, that's because I haven't been to Costco in a long time. So I'm pretty sure the last time I went in store was October. I was thinking back to when I last went. I think it's been that long. I've done a couple of um, online orders, but of course there's much fewer options of what you can buy when you order online. It's only the non-perishable items. So today I went in store, I spent $615. So my grocery budget for this month is definitely way higher than normal, but I bought a lot of items that will last us a long time. So I'll go ahead and show you everything I picked up. Oh, also, when I go to Costco, I usually get a few items that are not grocery items. So I got, what did I get? Dish soap, I got laundry detergent, toilet paper, you'll see. I will also include the price for each individual item. I know you guys uh, like to see that as well. So I'll show you everything now. Buying this many items is such a huge task. <laughs> going through the store, picking everything up, putting it all in my cart, of course bringing it home, and then to put all this stuff away. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so first off, I got this toilet paper. We like the Kirkland Signature toilet paper. I think we have two rolls left, so it was time. It was getting a little bit desperate. I also got this big case of Nest Tea. We don't have this often, uh, but it's nice to have for just a treat. Um, I got some bacon. This wasn't on my list, and I walked past and thought, oh, I just have to get it. It's four 500 gram packages. Um, I don't even know why I'm saying the price because you'll see it come across the screen here, but it's a really good price. As I was putting this onto the um, at the checkout, I noticed that it's blue, and I'm sure what I usually buy is red, so I don't know. I think lower sodium, it says. So different than what we normally buy. I didn't mean to pick up a different one, but I'm sure it will taste really good. Uh, I got some cheese here, so I got marble cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, and then their mozzarella cheese was on sale as well. I usually get their bigger blocks, but this one was on sale for, it worked out to be cheaper uh, than the larger blocks are. So I grate that up and put it into the freezer. This also wasn't on my list, but when I see it on sale, I pick it up. That makes for a nice snack for the kids. We go through honey fairly quickly. I'm pretty sure this was, I ordered, um, last time I ordered groceries online with Costco, uh, I ordered honey and that was probably in November or something and so we're already almost out so it just comes with these three different uh, squeeze bottles I got some brown sugar I got a rotisserie chicken tonight for supper it's almost supper time now I'm making uh, Caesar salad chicken and then we'll have some buns as well just a nice easy dinner after after a day of grocery shopping for sandwich meat I got this salami we haven't bought this in a long time since I haven't been to Costco in so long but a couple of my kids and my husband love this German salami for sandwich meat, I also got ham. I got some of their non-bread. Let me try to squish past this toilet paper to show you what's over here. We love these peanut butter pretzels, and so this this time I bought two uh, big containers of it, so that should last us for a while. Everybody enjoys that for a snack. I also got the Tostitos salsa that comes with a pack of two. Another thing we've been going through so quickly, I think it's mostly because I use it a lot when I'm doing like sourdough pancakes or waffles, um, is coconut oil. It's a big uh, container of it and again I think I last bought it just in the last three or four months and um, we're almost out. So more of that. This was another just it was on sale so I picked it up purchase. It's these fig bars. Most of the kids enjoy that. For a snack I got two cartons of strawberries. They're not cheap this time of year but I wanted those to make a dessert so I got two cartons. They're each two pounds. I got sour cream. The kids were out of their vitamins so I just got some more kids vitamins. I saw in their flyer that they had their kids Advil on sale so I went and checked in our cupboard and saw that we only have two or three of these two or three like tablets left so I bought more and I did see that they're good till what 2023 so I'm sure we'll have enough sicknesses to uh, use all those up before then squishing past the toilet paper again to show you some more uh, I got this cream cheese Pretty good price for two 500 gram tubs of cream cheese. Their butter chicken sauce is on sale. I haven't bought this in a while, but we really do enjoy this. It's like an Indian curry type sauce. We like that over rice, but we'll put any meat in it, so 
beef, chicken, sausage, whatever, but this is a really easy sauce just to mix with meat and then put over top of rice. We got this hummus, we always buy that, that two pack. We just ran out of our Montreal steak spice. We use that a lot for different meats, especially when we're grilling in the summer. But I also do, oh that's what, I was like, what did I finish off our last container? What was I making? I was making roasted potatoes. I sprinkle this on top of potatoes and a bit of oil to make like a roasted potatoes or homemade french fries. I got some mayonnaise, I got this six pack of applesauce. Okay, where else should we go here? I got these peppers. It's a six pack of peppers, uh, but the, pe the individual peppers are really big. It's not sold by weight, it's just sold by number. And so, <laughs> nice big peppers. Oh, are you eating your snack over there? I got some yogurt. This is the yogurt that the kids like. I didn't realize that it's lactose free. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I must have been kind of rushing through the store. These things I didn't realize. What do you see? Those, those are, oh, what do you have? Oh, you have a puzzle piece in your bowl. Hmm, you're pretty silly. Uh, I got a two pack of ketchup. Uh, these are our favorite protein bars. I know Andrew likes the peanut butter one, the chocolate chip one. I love the chocolate mint one. That mint protein bar is my favorite. Wesley, you took up my spot here. I'm gonna slide that back in. Okay, this also was on sale. Not something I would normally buy, but it's nice to have a few things in the freezer like this that are just super easy to take out for a nice, easy lunch. You keep taking my spot every time I lift something up. <laughs> um, we are out of coffee. We have a few coffee beans we've been using, but we are completely out of the Kirkland Signature coffee. Every time um, I go to Costco, coffee, yes. I like to buy two because we go through them fairly quickly. I also like to get Parmesan cheese from Costco. Uh, this was on sale today, but even if it's not on sale, it is so much better of a price for um, these 680 grams than it is at any grocery store. Yeah, that is mango. Mango yogurt. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm missing one more thing. What else do I have? Yeah, what else do I have over here? Oh, burgers. So, oh my goodness, that is heavy. That is one big pack of burgers. 20 burgers in there, 6.66 pounds apparently. So those will go in the freezer. Okay, over to the counter. Uh, these were on sale, this party mix. Um, then I got these kettle cooked chips. I also got, okay, you guys have told me that you don't have zesty cheese Doritos in the States. Is that true? I am so sorry for you, because these are the best. They're like the original Doritos, only so much cheesier. Oh, I love these. So I picked those up, and then I saw that these were on sale, and if I had realized that those were on sale, I wouldn't have bought those too. But by the time I picked that up, I didn't feel like walking all the way back to where I picked those up, so more chips than I intended to buy. I also, I wanted to get myself the Chicago mix. Oh, I love Chicago mix. It's a caramel popcorn, cheddar popcorn mix. Let me just, here. Let's rearrange a little so we can see this better. Um, so this is the same sort of idea. It's cheddar popcorn and caramel popcorn. It is, what, 737 grams, it says. You'll see the price come across here. Um, it was way cheaper. Chicago mix, I think, is usually twice as much. That being said, I walked all the way through and didn't even see Chicago mix, so maybe this replaced it. But either way, it was a bit cheaper. Popcorn, I know, does that look so yummy? So those are all the, the chip snacks we got. I got a three pack of cucumbers and then some of this regular yogurt. So the kids really like the sweetened little individual servings. Uh, Andrew and I usually have this yogurt. I can't really pick you up right now. Go see dad. Go see daddy, okay? But we like this with um, either maple syrup or I'll put stevia and berries in mine. So that's just a plain yogurt. We needed some um, laundry detergent. So that's just the Purex brand huge container of laundry detergent. I also, here, let me turn on an extra light here. I also um, like to buy this, so it's just a big jug of dish soap, and then we have one little container that I, I use that's under our sink, and I refill it with this big one. Well, the one I have, um, it breaks, and then I have to buy another one, and then it breaks again. So the one that's currently under our sink, the um, the lid is broken, and we're still using it, but I thought, you know what, I need to just buy three. So I have three on hand. If one breaks, I can throw it out and keep using the other two, if that made any sense. I do like to have this, because it's much cheaper just to refill the small ones. I got some spinach. I got three 
bunches of bananas here. For meat, we didn't need a lot because I actually just a couple weeks ago went and stocked up on chicken breasts and ground beef. They were on for a really good sale just at the grocery store. So we didn't need a lot of meat, but I did buy two trays of sausages and I also bought a tray of pork chops. The croissants are hard to turn down. I saw those there and thought, oh, I better buy those. I think this is what we're gonna have with our Caesar salad and chicken. Tonight, we'll have these buns. I got two trays of eggs. These are 30 eggs each. And then I also got some of these ciabatta buns. We like these for sandwiches and they freeze really well. When you pull them out of the freezer, they still taste really fresh. They're not dry or anything. So we like to get those buns. I also got two blocks of butter, three bags of milk, two cartons of just coffee cream, and then one carton of whipping cream. I was tempted to buy two of these just because the price at Costco for this is so good, but I didn't have anything in mind that I needed to for, so I just bought one. I also don't really have the fridge space to stock up too much on cold stuff. I got a bag of apples. I also got this 12 pack of Annie's mac and cheese. And then lastly, this was on sale, these frozen cherries. I haven't bought these before. I usually buy like berries instead, but I thought that we would try those out this time. Okay, do you wanna end my video with me? Oh, you're just being a little snuggly bug today. Do you want, what? Are you still hungry? Do you want an apple or a banana maybe? What do you want? Um, dada. You want what? Dada. I don't know what you're saying. You'll have to show me after, okay? Can you say bye to all the people? No. Oh, you don't want to say bye? Wesley. Okay, thank you guys for watching today's Costco haul. I hope to go back sooner, um, not wait three more months to go back like I did last time. But thank you for watching today's video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.